Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a chicken bowl from Chipotle. Now after I finished my bowl, was it better than Chipotle's bowl? Y'all know I'm going to be biased and say that it is. <laughs> y'all can't even lie. Tell me that thing don't look so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. These are the ingredients that we're going to be using. So we're going to start off with four chicken breasts. And you know, after you uh, rinse them off, pat them dry, let's start to season them. Start off with some onion powder, not some garlic powder. Slap your mama, baby. That's my stuff. Chicken rub. We're going to hit it with some garlic powder. Garlic pepper, excuse me. Cayenne. We're going to just rub it in. And this is what I like to do. I don't like to waste seasoning. So um, there's a lot of seasoning that missed the chicken. So I'm just going to kind of hit the bottom of it with the chicken breast and try to get all of it up. <clears throat> if after if after doing this, uh, you still see it not seasoned as much as you would like it to be, let's go ahead and add some more. Uh, medium heat temperature, we're going to put the chicken breast. We're going to do two, two at a time. We don't want to crowd the skillet too much. And we're just going to let it sit. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to start on the rice. Add three cups of water and let it boil. Now we're going to cut our tomatoes. We're going to cut them in tiny chunks. Try not to cut your finger. Okay, um, when the chicken gets white at the bottom, that's how you know it's ready to turn. Our water for the rice is boiling. We're going to add the rice with some butter and let that cook for about 15 minutes or so. It's important not to overcook the rice. Uh, we're going to cut our onion using this thing my mama gave me. This cutter is amazing. I will link it down below if y'all want to buy it. No, I won't, I won't get a penny if y'all buy it. All right, I'm not sponsoring it. But I, I, I think I like to use it. And I think it's useful. So, yeah. So, our chicken's done. Make sure it's 165 degrees uh, on the inside. Get a meat thermometer just to make sure. Not undercook your chicken. So it's done. We're going to take it out. And we're going to let that cool down because we got to cut it into chicken chunks. All right. And we're going to add our corn. Season it a little bit with some butter. Let that boil to the side. Let that corn do its thing. Now we're going to cook. Now we're going to cut. Excuse me. We're going to cut our chicken into tiny little chunks. That's what we're going to do. That's what it should look like. Now we're going to add some beans. This is a lot of step, guys. This is a lot of steps, but y'all y'all stay with me because it's worth it at the end. So the rice is done. We're going to add it to our um, little circular foil pan. We're going to add our beans because our beans, the beans don't take long. Beans are done. Spread it around. We're going to add our corn because the corn is done. The corn takes 10 minutes. The beans take 10 minutes. I mean, it's 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 nothing to it. Next, we're going to add our chicken. That's nice and cut up and seasoned. Next time for our veggies, we're going to add some cheese. Some lettuce, some more lettuce, we're going to add some onions, because if y'all are weird like me, I like a lot of onions on my stuff, like a lot, with some tomatoes on top, and look. That's how it came out. It looks so, so beautiful. Can't wait to eat it. Y'all, that's how you make a Chipotle, a chicken bowl from Chipotle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, hey, go out and make your own.